Well, hey there everyone, welcome to my channel, and today I have great news. 86 Box 3.2 is finally out, and it's been, well, ever since that one video I made teaching you guys how to install 86 Box on Linux, it's been rather easy to get 86 Box up and running, and it's even easier now, which I'm going to show, because, I mean, things are slightly different, so the video is already out of date. You know, it's been like, what, four days? But yeah, we have a new way to get 86 box up and running. It's much simpler because now there's a twist. You don't need the R argument anymore with the pointing to the ROMs folder. It, it kind of knows automatically where to go, which I, I, I do think is amazing. So first of all, let's get to the 86 box github page where we're we going to download the latest app image go here on passing let's build at 3600 as you can tell we're going to get a 64-bit app image there's also the non-debug one if you want uh, i like to use the debug one for reasons but it's up to you you could also try out the new recompiler which uh then again down to personal preference I guess it doesn't really change how it's installed it's the very same way it's the very same procedure so that's something that doesn't really change between um the the, the options so 32 bit is the same way as well it does work all the same way so let's move this into documents and what I'm gonna do here is rename it so that it's easier to refer to it. So we're going to rename it to 86 box. Oops, there you go. We have 86 box app image. Now we got to fetch uh, the ROMs. Otherwise, it won't work, obviously. So we go here on 86 box. We're going to ROMs. And uh, while well, there's a ROM set for 3.2, amazing. So we get source code right there. Obviously, I mean, you don't have to download this specific ROM set. I mean, it's been, if, if it, if you're watching this video and it's been like several days already since uh, it's been out, you can just go here and click on download zip, which is going to get you the latest ROM set anyway. This is just more convenient because it's like it was just made for 3.2, but it doesn't really matter. And then once you download this zip, there's uh, the ROMs folder right there. You just drag it into. Oh, never mind. Extract. It doesn't work like WinRAR. But anyway, okay, so there we go. It's it's extracted. Then we can change the rums name, rums folder name to rums as God intended. And now we should be good to go. So we have that image right there. We have the rums. Then we are gonna need the terminal. So we have the terminal right there. We elevate ourselves. So as we are elevated, we can finally work our magic we cd to documents we ch mod plus x 86 box dot app image which is going to make it oops executable and then we run 86 box just as that just as easy as you can possibly be there we go we have 86 box running on linux finally officially yeah, I mean, it's been working on Linux for a while now, but not officially. Now it's official. Uh, 86 box does support Linux and it works great. So, I mean, if you're already familiarized, familiar with uh, 86 box on Windows, it's pretty much the same thing with the exception being it doesn't have a VM manager as of yet. So you got to handle the files manually, the CFGs, etc but it's not really too complicated i'm gonna demonstrate with a short example how we can do it so we take your um let's say a because then again you gotta remember that the it, it's just app image now in the roms folder so if you want if you have the disk space for it you could just make several folders and have like back in the day before uh the 86 box manager like you would have to do you would have like several folders with several different 86 box.exe this time you would have several ones with the 86 box.app image but that doesn't have to be the case 
if you go like with a CFG folder, so let's say you put all your VHDs or IMGs, whatever you want to use for the disks, you put them all here in the documents folder, and then you make a folder for the CFGs, and then you name like let's say Windows 95 CFG, then it's your Windows 95 machine, and then you make another folder Windows 98 CFG. Windows uh, 2000 CFG and so on, and then you drag in uh, the 86 box CFG folder into the main documents folder. Also, one thing that's important to notice, which um, for some reason it's lowercase for the CFG here, 86 box lowercase instead of 86 box uppercase B. So the CFGs are not going to work if you port them straight from Windows. You got to rename it to 86 box lowercase so that it works, and that's pretty much how you import your previous machines from your Windows install. But other than that, pretty much the very, very same procedure. As you can tell, it's all working fine. And uh, that's how you get 86 box up and running on Linux. Um, I think, yeah, that's about it for today's video. It's a rather short one, just teaching you how to get it running. It's not as much not not very different from that previous video from four days ago but i find it important to you know keep you guys updated the latest uh tricks so that's about it for today's video i guess and uh see you guys in the next one y'all take care and uh, bye bye